Parkham Insignia's v-carving is not only able to handle small amounts of data but also does a great job when faced with a really large amount of data as well. This can be quite common on jobs where you're engraving many names or numbers or something like that. For this demonstration I'm going to load an EPS file which was from a customer and it was for a dedication plaque um, um, for donors that had given money to a cause. So we're going to take it, ungroup it and delete the outside vector there and just come in and v-carve these vectors. If we open up the properties on these we can see that there is over 3,500 vectors in here. Tremendous amount of data, over 65,000 points. We go into the v-carving and that's the software to v-carve this with a 90 degree bit and create the centre line. Now this is still going to take uh, probably 10 to 20 seconds to do because there's really a lot of data here as you can see. So it's still tremendously fast given the fact that we have got 3,500 individual vectors that the software is having to calculate and do the math in order to work out this centre line so that we can go in and actually calculate a toolpath on it. So we'll just give it a few more seconds here while it takes this and then it will be able to uh, draw up those centres. Then we're going to come in and go to the calculate button and we'll actually tell it to calculate the toolpath now. So again, it shouldn't take too long. The main part of this is the drawing of it, which is now done. And if we go into the 3D view, we can see that toolpath and we can simulate it. So really in a very, very short amount of time, we're able to calculate the v-carving for all these names and we'll be able to output that and cut it now. One downside of the number of names we've got here is the fact the simulation doesn't really show us any details, so I would struggle to check that the quality of the lettering was good. However, we do have a way to deal with this in the simulation, whereby we can take and use a vector in order to limit the area that we want to simulate. For instance, if I draw a vector around the first name there, and then come into the simulation, and say we want to simulate inside the vector, what we can do is animate that now, just wait for it to do a couple of letters and then we'll be able to see to make sure that the quality of that simulation looks good and that everything's going to be okay. Everything looks good on those letters and so now we'll be able to carry on with that toolpath knowing everything was going to work just fine.